Hey guys, John Simon up here. I'm at my garage today getting ready to do some trailer maintenance and I thought I'd show you a couple of checks that you can do to make sure that your trailer stays moving down the road. I have ball tubs on my trailer and the first thing I'll look for is to make sure that that center button protrudes a little bit further out than the bearing cap. It's a pressurized system so that that cap is actually spring loaded and it should stick out just a little bit. When we go back and look at the rear axle, that button is all the way in indicating that the grease level is low and I might have a leak. For the next check, I jack my axle off the ground, make sure that the tire spins freely, that there's no grinding, and then I grab the tire, shake it from side to side, make sure that the axle is not loose, the bearings aren't loose, everything's good to go, it's tight, uh, there's no noises, so this axle is good to go. We're going to go ahead and check the back one now. Alright, we got our back uh, axle jacked up. So we want to make sure that it springs freely. Uh, there shouldn't be too much excessive drag on the brake pads. Uh, you might hear a little bit, but now we're just going to go ahead and give it that shake test. All right, we have a little bit of wobble in this, uh, this back axle. Uh, looks like we have a little bit of wear uh, on the inside uh, of the tire. So we're going to go ahead and uh, what we're going to do is we're going to tighten up these, uh, this bearing nut that's inside here. And we'll check the back seals to make sure that there's no excessive leakage. Well, these bearing caps are nothing more than an interference fit, so all you need is a rubber mallet to take them off. Spin your tire, tap the outside edge, and they'll actually pop right out. And that gives us access to the uh, castellated washer and the, uh, the cotter pin. We're going to go ahead and remove those to gain access to the bearing nut. When you're adjusting your bearing nut, you want to make sure that you release as much pressure as possible on the, on the bearings, and so I'm going to go ahead and remove the tire as well. Tolerance on this bearing nut is 18 to 20 inch pounds. So I have my torque wrench here. I set it to 19 inch pounds right in between. We're going to go ahead and attach this. It's a, it's a large nut, so you're going to need a large socket and adapters. I'm just going to put it on the nut. And that's it, 19 inch pounds right in between. Uh, now we'll just go ahead and grease it up and uh, put it back together. Now to fill the vault hub with the grease requires a special fitting. Uh, screws right here into the center of the, uh, the axle. You just tighten that up. And you just pump it full of grease until you see grease coming out uh, around the edges of the, the bearing washer. Alright, we now have grease coming out of the, the edge there. Pop that off. And next we're going to take our bearing cap. And uh, I'm going to clean out some of this old grease. And I want to make sure that we take off our, our fitting. It doesn't go into the, uh, or doesn't stay behind the bearing cap. Screw that out. And I uh, want to put on our castellated washer where the holes line up. And then we'll put in a uh, a new cotter pen. Don't want to use an old one. Now I want to fill up the bearing cap with, uh, with grease since this is a, a pressurized system and it's an interference fit. We'll just fill this up. Then we take a small bead of Loctite and put it around the, the edge. Okay, Loctite's on. Just press it in here, sit it in here, and chances are there's going to be grease that splatters because this is a pressurized system. Take our PVC adapter to tap it in. And now that it's tapped in, you can see that the center button is pushed out part way, indicating that it's pressurized. And now we are good to go to put the tire on and roll down the road. Got the tire back on, jack back down, and uh, we're good to roll down the road again. We'll uh, check this tire, or we'll keep an eye on this axle, make sure that uh, the center pin stays pushed out and uh, that it's in good condition. Tight lines to you.